Um, oh. So I've got two ready set up. Holly, if you just want to put the water in this glass first for me. I'll do that for you. And no then problem. the oil on the top. And we already know that oil and, aut uh, oil and aut <laughs> water and oil, they yeah. don't mix. We see this all the time in salad dressing. So we are going to use this to our advantage. Now, each of us has got a little bit of a food colouring. Right. So there we go. If you want to just put a good old blob in each one, that's it. Couple, a couple of little drops. Oops. So we've got a different colour each. And then we're going to take half like a soluble aspirin, you know, the fizzy ones. Yeah. And then on the count you. of three, let's all dip it in at the same time, OK? Dip, like, chuck three, it in. Chuck it in, chuck it in. Three, two, one. And now watch what happens. So we know that water and... Water and oil, ah. they won't mix. So what's happening here is that as the, um, as the aspirin is dissolving, it's creating carbon dioxide bubbles, and those bubbles are almost like little lifts, little vehicles for that coloured water, that's which is so lifting cool. that coloured water up into it. the oil. I know, that's so cool. But when it gets to the top, those bubbles pop. Um, so they float to the top, they pop, and then that means that the water is going to try and separate out again. You need to take Chester to one of his toddler classes because they look at stuff like this all day <laughs> Do long. They? You're going to love it. You Just need to hang out with him. It's such fun. I know, it is. Like... Holly, if you come round this side of me... Okay. This is okay, where it so starts just, to get uh, dangerous. Just say now, um, do, what you're about to see, do not try this at home. First test is getting the rubber gloves on. Oh. If, if you can't get in, just do a bit of a blow. That's oh. it. And got right. glasses on, because what we have in these three conical flasks is hydrogen peroxide. Oh. Which is a very corrosive chemical. Mm -hmm. It's and used for bleaching it's... hair, but that's at low levels. This is right. really high concentration stuff, so glasses on. And stand back. we are going to do a demonstration of ripping oxygen out of the hydrogen peroxide. You can come a bit closer. All right. <laughs> um, what, what happens when you rip oxygen out of hydrogen peroxide? You Nuclear create explosion. A oh huge amount of gas. Huge amount of gas. Smelly really? gas? Really? Perfectly fine gas. You're, okay. It's just, yeah, just uh, oxygen. OK. But the volume of this gas, we're going to try and trap in soapy water so we can physically see it. OK, so what I want you both to do is, first off, grab the little bottle. This is some food dye. Yeah. Just so we can tip that in. Pop it in your Pop one. Pop it in your, your one, yeah. Okay. All of it? A uh, little bit. A little bit, half. Okay. Right. Right. Pop it under the table. Pop it under the table. Oh, got to get started. And then tiny swill. Gently does it. Why? Why, why, why? Because it's very corrosive, that liquid in there. You don't want it coming out. OK, OK. OK, gently does it. Now, your soap. Liquid soap. So we'll put a good, healthy glug of that in there. Big squeeze. <laughs> so this is just making this solution okay. soapy. So oh, when the gas is produced... Again, we'll put that down there. When the gas is produced... This will hopefully trap the gas and make foam. Right. OK. This is going to be... have to swirl again. Go on, then. Gentle this time. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We got, we got it. We got it now. OK, is so... This, it's not April Fool's Day. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. <laughs> this what's going to happen. Right. So what's going to happen next is we're going to have to pour in the catalyst. Mm -hmm. So this is potassium iodide, not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got to do this together. Yeah. And then run. And then step back. But us with slippy shoes have got to step back... Carefully. Gently, yeah. But... Don't take your eyes off what's in front of you. So it'd be one, two, three, pour. And yeah. then get step back. Step back, but keep your eyes on it. Is what's in here corrosive? No, no, right, no. So I can take this back with me. So let's take those back with us. Oh, OK. okay good. Right, everybody ready? One. Three. Oh, hang on. What are we going on? <laughs> <laughs> I know. One, one two, two, three, three pour. Go. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Whoa! No! Oh, wow, we! Oh my gosh, look at it! Okay. So, what is that? That's soap suds now. It's a huge amount of soap What the suds. hell just happened here? <laughs> we made an ex. Yeah, yeah a Look, a, a look at the replay, look at that! Where's the red I mean, water? I know that, it, a lot of it's gone through that safety netting, by the way. I think it went up over the top. It went over it. Down inside, actually. It did. It really did. That was over five metres. It's so spurt. cool, it's still going. So you can hear the bubbling noise. It's now safe. I mean, don't eat it, but it's so Why did it change colour? Can you feel the heat and the steam coming off? That's it? because of the heat of the reaction. So this is the next experiment. Everybody loves bubbles, but mm. bubble blowers are last season. Today we're going to be making bubble snakes. No All right, way. this should be quite good fun. So all I've got is just um, some plastic bottles, obviously reusable bottles, mm. not... Uh, make, re sorry, let's reuse these before we recycle yeah. them. Yeah. Um, one for you there. Thank you. And all I've got is a... This is kind of like a microfiber washcloth. Yeah. But to be honest, a sock would work. Doesn't really matter. OK. And then you just want to put an elastic band over the top to secure it in place. 
And I've got here some bubble mixture, which okay. is just one part dish soap to one part water. Right. And we're going to dip it in. So everyone have a go at this. So dip it in and then just scrape off some of that excess. And we're going to have a bit of a competition. <laughs> Who can make the biggest snake? Yes. Okay. Right, you ready? OK, let's do a countdown again. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> can you catch it? Whoa, that... How competitive are you two? <laughs> So what's happening here, because <laughs> the washcloth is creating loads of opportunities to make lots of bubbles. Right, I might just leave these two to it. Look at this. Stop Bill, it! you got it, you got it! Hang on a second, hang on. Oh, no. I can't believe they're still... I can't believe this is still working. I've got a I slight shirt. I'd have a slight Hi. shirt in there. <laughs> oh, I trapped my arm! Right, <laughs> OK. How there you go. So the I reason I didn't realise it was going to come up in little bubbles. No, no. So the reason is because obviously this um, this this cloth here. I need a hairdryer. Loads <laughs> yeah, of little spaces, friend. which makes lots of little bubbles. Bubbles like to be friends. They stick together, which is why you end up. That's with a long so cake. cool. Brilliant. Like that. Okay. Let's make some science awesome as quick as possible. So first thing, some PVA glue, and one for you. Glue. Oh, Grab that. Like... Going to start off with some glue. Okay. You're getting some slime as well. You've got a big decision to make in just a few seconds. Mm -hmm. You've got to decide if you're going for green, purple, or blue slime. Oh, I know already what I'm going like, for. What? Life-changing stuff. Purple. I was going <laughs> to choose purple. No, I'm I was going, going to purple. choose purple. Favourite colour, right. thank you. Know green, that. I'll go green. Gone. I'll make one too so you don't feel silly. Right, I wouldn't green. want that. We wouldn't want that, <laughs> would we? Uh, you said purple. I'm purple, please. Of course you are. So, uh, let's get some slime going. So, we're going to need some... So you just use food colouring? Food colouring to make uh, slime uh, a nice colour. You can make white slime, but it's just a bit, a bit dull. You said green? Green, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, every good cartoon has green slime. Green slime's yeah. real slime. It's, yeah. the, it's the professional's yeah. choice. Uh, and the final one we've got... I'll, I'll go with blue, shall I? Yeah. And to turn out... So all we've got now is some coloured glue. If you grab a lollipop stick and okay. stir that... Thank you. Just stir. Mix it in. So that's just going to make coloured glue, though. And obviously coloured glue isn't slime. So to turn it into slime, we're going to do a really quick chemical reaction. Uh -huh. uh, this stuff is called borax or sodium tetraborate. Oh my oh, word! You want to do a bit of a fancy name? Is this now, legal? We're asking people to uh, do this at home, Mark. We so. do need to make sure you wash your hands if you if you do this one. Where do you get that? From? Uh, you can get it from like pharmacies or chemists or online, depending okay. on what's easiest. But. Uh, and to make our uh, to What's make it us normally slime, used for then? it's a really old detergent. Back in the day, it was oh. used instead of before washing up liquid. Uh, detergents got a bit fancy. Oh, okay. uh, but to make your slime, all you've got to do is start mixing. Mixing. And you're gonna have to start yeah. mixing to mix that. Okay. And mix Ooh, your yeah. slime it's up. And check it out. Quick, Keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, mix your slime together, and. Uh, so you've got to make sure you label this properly. Got to label it up properly. Got to make that, sure you? we don't want anyone drinking it. Got to yeah. make sure we... When we do any science experiment, we always get all the children to wash their yes. hands afterwards, of course. Uh, but for quick speed, you can make yourself a beautiful, a magnificent batch Ooh, of look. slime. Oh, yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In just a matter of seconds. Can I do that, put, touch uh, it with my fingers or not? Maybe not. We, maybe not just now, because you look very, very beautifully well-dressed, both of you. <laughs> but, uh, Unlike yourself. If, we're, uh, <laughs> if you're dressed a bit more like me or you've got your kind of messy play kind yeah. of clothes on, and it's so fine to dig you, in. And... You've nothing to worry about here. This is not going to be toxic in any way, as long as you don't Ooh, need look it. At your... You're insured, right? <laughs> 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 OK. Uh, uh, that's so going to be good. OK, so this is called Rainbow Milk, and I love this one because it feels like you've got magical powers. Mm -hmm. OK. okay. Um, so I'm going to just put a little bit of food colouring. This is just milk, whole milk in a plate, um, on a plate, you know, quite a shallow dish will do you fine. So here we go, putting a bit of blue. Well, I've got the adult version of this in a moment, which I'll tell you about. <laughs> oh, OK. okay. Right. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. And Don't I'm just going worried. to... It's OK. Don't going to give worried. it a bit of a mix. And already we are seeing we've got lots of really lovely rainbow colours. Yeah. But now I'm just going to take a cotton bud and some dish soap. Any old dish soap will do, and I'm putting a very small bit, not much at all, okay. on the cotton bird. And who wants to do the magic? Go on, Phil, you do it. Yeah? So, Phil, all I want you to do is just gently hold that on the top of the milk, on the surface, and see just what happens. Just touch it to the yeah, surface? Yeah, just hold it there. <gasps> Keep it there. No way! Why Ooh, did you do that? Magic! So what's happening? Inside milk, you have water and you've also got fat. Now, dish soap absolutely loves fat. It's why it's so good at cleaning dishes, oh, because it will grab onto the fat and take it away. So what's happening here is the dish soap is searching for those little fat Which is molecules. why you said whole milk and not skim milk. Because absolutely. Like, if you did it on cream, would it go even yeah. more crazy? Cream would go... Uh, skim milk will work. Ah, oh, OK. So if you have a plate of cream, yes. single cream, yeah. or double cream, yeah. And then you have, and I think it's Pedro Jimenez 
sherry. Right. She's a really, really thick sherry. Okay. And you pour it into the cream. It moves. It does it's the same fascinating. thing. Fascinating. Yeah. Pop that into there. In here, we've got an another flammable gas, propane. But you've got lots of flammable gases at home, like on your cooker and things. Yeah. That's 97% methane, which is what we produce when we fart, what cows produce when they fart. I do not. Affects, <laughs> <laughs> affects the, um, <laughs> uh, the greenhouse effect. Yours is rose gas. <laughs> methane is, a, is also very combustible. So I'm going to show you how to hold fire in your hand. Yeah. Right. Let's brace ourselves. You're on the yeah. flame. I'm going to scoop up. Yeah. I'm not doing this. You can have a... If you want to do it again, you can have a go. Oh, I'm going to right. second seal that one. Oh, God. I'll just watch. Do light, I light, do light. I light your hand on fire? Light. You're not going to do that. <laughs> oh, I love that. Go on. Oh, does that not hurt? No. Can I, can I, can I, can I you do can? it? You haven't got time. You can be quick. You can. Five You've got time. This one. We can do it. Three, we can do it. We can do it. Two. Your fault if this doesn't work now. We'll be fine. We he can just... You need a minute 30. It's fine. <laughs> We're professionals. Go for it. Right, okay. if you want to scoop I can't it up... Hold... Can I hold it? Apparently Don't I'm not hold allowed. it over the... the Am I allowed to do this? Yeah. Go on, then. Oh, my goodness. Right, one of you at a time. Ah! OK. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. It was and fine. then we'll just finish off by oh! just lighting... We'll just light through it up the floor. Just... What were you expecting? Can there I have a go. go? What were you expecting? I know, I know, but it's <laughs> exciting. Um, we know that there's been a slime craze. Yes. Everybody loves slime. We're not making slime today. We're making quicksand, or I like to call this goop. Oh, right. But all you need, two ingredients, is just cornstarch and water. So you might play with this before. Done this before. Put some, yeah. that, put some water in there for me. Do you want I think in? this is a rite of passage for every kid's presenter that you have to match <laughs> on custard. Yeah. So true. It is so true. But it can take it. a little while to come together. So I'll start mixing this, and you two can have a play with this. I've just put some food colouring inside it. So if you, you can... There you go. You can punch it. You can. And you don't go in. But also, so if you try to gather some up and turn it into a little ball in your hands, and, and then if you'll you do find. It slowly. Then you, you get it. You see, you already, you already know what you're doing. But then you can sort of turn it into a ball. So we call this, this is a non Newtonian fluid solution, mm. ah. which sounds really fancy, but actually it just means. I do this with Chester, doesn't... and I put it in like a big sort of dish, and then I hide Very stuff important. in it. And he's got to find it. And of course, at first, he's trying to get it really oh, quickly. That's such a good idea. So he can't, like, he can't find it. He needs to go to slow. slow. So if I just yeah. show you this, guys, look, what I quite oh, like I doing, if you try and turn it into a ball like this. Oh, it's my that? crumbling. A bit there. And once yeah, I'll do it on this ball moving, here. Yeah, you? keep it moving. So as long as you're applying pressure, <gasps> then um, you're going to make it's going to feel firm. You let it go. Exactly. Ready? Ah, yeah. that's so cool. Fun, right? That is cool. Good morning to you. Morning. I'm slightly <laughs> worried about the amount of people that are standing behind the cameras here. They've taken a good ten steps away from they I mean, really we don't normally have that many people in here. What is it's... this all health and safety? <laughs> health and safety, medics. medics. Right, then, what are we doing? Uh, well, I've spent all morning developing a new workout craze, which is monster slime mixing. Yeah. Give that it a go. a bucket of slime. Get those legs... Yeah. Working. I'm in it. I'm that's in it. it. That's it. I'm in it. Oh, we are creating that. a like polymer the slime here. Twerk. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're taking our monomer molecules. Yeah. And we are turning them into a polymer. Mm hmm And I want to show you the effect. Yeah. In slime that something like adding baby lotion can have. So it alters the viscosity. Viscosity is all about how flowy, how runny liquids are. Uh -huh. Right. So hopefully this is going to be a slime runny enough to do some impressive drippage. Oh, Ooh. I like a bit of impressive, impressive drippage. But I need your help, Phil. We need to tip this into the basket. Holly, you will be on the paddle. Oh, I'll okay. scoop it in. Oh, oh my gosh, I've got to the... OK. Right, oh. get the slime in. Guys, I mean, it sort of just warped out. <laughs> so you've oh, seen... that's so satisfying. Can you smell the baby lotion? Yeah, Is that a little what bit. it's made of? Is that what you've got in there? Hang so on. There's baby lotion, PVA glue... Yeah. ..and or is a that... bit of borax. Yeah. And that's what... Oh, my God, Chloe, I'm so sorry. Just... It's all right. That's OK. I think we've filled the basket. Oh, it's all coming out on my shoe! Oh, it's <laughs> on my blasted shoe. <laughs> <laughs> right, raise the slime! Raise the slime! Here okay. we go. Oh, look at that! Now, I might have made it a bit too viscous, but we couldn't test it. This is for live TV. One oh, time only. Oh, like a rain cloud! Wow. I really want to run through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do that. But of course, so oh, this look at monster it. slime, these are the long-chain polymer mo molecules that we've made. 
by adding the borax to the Oh, it's so cool. Now it's like, it's just amazing. <laughs> I want to touch it. It's really beautiful. Isn't it really beautiful? And it smells of baby oil. It does. It smells lovely. The first thing I want to show you is something that people can try at home. Right. This is quite a small scale experiment, but it is magical. OK. This is a demonstration of a jumping flame. <gasps> wow. So we're going to extinguish the candle and then relight it, ignite it, but using the vaporised wax in the smoke. So I I'm, don't know what I'm means, explaining I all like of this it. first because when I do it, if you talk, our breath will move the smoke and it won't work. So hang on. That was like <laughs> shut up. That was science. <laughs> shut up. Speak. Mm. Right. So I'm going to extinguish it, cut off the oxygen, relight the smoke, and watch what the flame does. So you okay? relight the fire, yeah. Relight. Mm. Here we go. Right. No speaking. <gasps> Oh, it's so like magic. Cool. Slow-mo replay. Why does it do that? <laughs> so you've got wax in solid form in the candle, liquid in the puddle, but also vapour, gas form in the smoke. And that wax is a fuel mixed with the oxygen. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> oh. oh, I love it. I'm going to light candles like that all the time now. Birthdays. Special, Everything. Any, any time of candles. So be careful, but you can do that at home. Your mother's going to be thrilled. She's going to love it. Let's try it. And if this goes wrong... I'll blame you guys, how okay. about that? Does yeah. that sound fair? So yeah. I need a cup. We're going to need a uh, toilet roll. Don't actually We're going to need an egg. Right. So it's an egg experiment, of course. <laughs> of course it is. And if this one goes wrong... What's the idea? Well, all about inertia. So our egg's going to stay, objects at rest, remain yeah. at rest. The idea is we pull this out super quickly, the egg falls into the cup, okay. nothing goes wrong. OK. There's no disasters. Go for it, then. Good, ready? Ready. Steady. Ah! Ta-da! A little bit like that. There he is. <laughs>